That was, of course, Maranatha with Refresh My Heart. Here on your radio station, AM 930 The Light, Edmonton's Positive Talk. Well, we're going to prayer today, and we're going to pray for you. That's right. Every once in a while, we just bring you before the throne of grace. So, Father, today, we thank you for everyone who's listening today. And we ask that, Lord, right now, throughout this day, that they would recognize that, Lord, you have a plan and purpose for our lives. And together, Lord, when we work for you, we can change and influence our world. And we ask that, Lord, today, that we would understand that you are using us to bring about your love, your good pleasure, and also as well, Lord, your mercy and grace in the lives of others today. And let us also remember the one word that was given for the Salvation Army when William Booth was asked. They said, what is the Salvation Army about? He said, others. Well, Father, today, help us to recognize that we are often the only Bible that people read. So we're praying today that we are going to make it our aim and goal to be like our Savior. When Jesus was asked, what are you all about? He said, well, basically, I'm here to do the will of my Father. So, Lord, today, let us do the will of our Father. Now, how that takes shape, of course, is under the direction of the Holy Spirit and our willingness, Lord, to be obedient and faithful to whatever it is that you call us to do today. And Lord, I pray that we'll be open to avenues of opportunities because we never know who you're going to bring across our path. And we don't know in what way, Lord, we can be a blessing or an influence. I just pray that, Lord, we'll be open and actually we'll be looking for those opportunities today because, Lord, they will present themselves if we are looking for them or at least open to them in the name of Jesus. And also as well, Lord, Let's recognize that, Lord, the way that we show that love is the way that we love others. I pray today that we would recognize that everyone is made in the image of God and that everyone has a unique perspective. And maybe, just maybe, Lord, you want to use others to help us, Lord, to grow in the grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because that is actually what Peter said, that every day we would grow in the grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray today that, Lord, we would open the pages of the Bible and we would find that you have a blueprint, you have a guidebook, you have an instruction manual, you have a compass for our lives today. And that, Lord, we would just say, Lord, here I am, use me. That's what Isaiah said when he saw the Lord in Isaiah chapter 6. I saw the Lord and the Lord said, who shall I send? And Isaiah said, send me, Lord. Let us be like Isaiah. And that's my prayer today. And I ask all these things in Jesus' name we pray. 